Well, the plan was to do a video of the garden and do some planting. However, looking at this weather and what's going on here in the sky, I'm not able to plant very much in this rain, but things are looking really, really good. We can see here the flowers are blooming nicely. The canna is looking wonderful. And the other containers are looking good. There's the plants that I was going to do the video on to plant up. But Mother Nature doesn't seem to want to agree with me right now again. And I can show you the window boxes from here. I am hiding on the step out of the rain. Well, it comes down all around me. And uh, we just can't seem to get a break this year from the weather. It's just rain, 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 rain. But if it stops, then we will do a video. But I just wanted to share with you some of the things we're dealing with here in Saskatchewan for weather. I mean, it's cool, it's not warm. We're on the weather watch. Obviously it's just for heavy rain, but it's just so unstable. So you just never know what you're gonna get. You see here the eave trough is now starting to overflow because we've had so much moisture coming down. Like we're really getting a good pouring. I'm just grateful that these drops are just big raindrops and it hasn't turned into hail because that would just shred all the plants. And quite honestly, even though it's been cool and we haven't had the heat, everything's looking quite healthy. So that's a start in the right direction. But anyhow, I'm gonna have a coffee and hope this stops and goes away so I can finish up a video for you. Now that the rain has stopped, it's still spitting and it's gonna pour again because you can see here, the sky is very threatening. So I'm gonna do this video here, but I'm gonna to talk to you about what I do with all my leftover annuals that I don't have an idea in my head on, or a plan on what I wanna do with them for color design and placement. So for instance, this is one that I didn't know what I was going to do with for an arrangement. So I basically found my gnome here. It was really quite cute if you like gnomes. And I've set him up in an arrangement here with some sunburst petunias. We have some silver foliage in here. I have a pineapple herb in here. And we have some portulaca. And it's thundering. How nice. Here's some more plants I haven't got planted here. These are some lilies that I picked up and I want to get in the ground and I want to put them with those other plants that I just did the rejuvenation prune on. So those ones need to go in and the plan for them, actually, I do have a plan for these, is to go along the path, but we're not there yet. Everything is taking priority. Another thing I do is I will fill my containers with leftover plants if there's any gaps in them. Now you can see this container is really full. This is the island waterfall petunias that I grew from seed that I put in here. And although they're soaked, like they're totally soaked right now, they do have some great color in them. So I will add to these if there's any bare spots. So this one for instance has a couple bare spots here. So I would go in here, take the weed out, and I would throw a couple more plants in here, whatever I have laying around. Usually I try to consistently 
a range based on color but if I don't have colors that will go with it sometimes I'll take a chance and I'll just throw whatever colors I have in here in this case I do have some more of the island petunia I can put in here and some geraniums so I'll probably fill this one with it here I took a bunch of leftover plants and I just threw them in here recently there's Nicotiana in here there's some verbena and some petunias in this arrangement this is a new one I just did I had leftover baskets and thought let's fill them same with this one I had the pink lemonade petunias left over here and I'm just going to deadhead while I'm in here and I threw them in this arrangement with some more Nicotiana and some verbena in here and filled this arrangement now I just did this one so I should really feed it and top it up with anything that has a bare spot but you can see some of the plants are a little smaller so I usually put my larger plants out first and the smaller ones I will plant out later because they need more care and they're going to need more fertilizer here's a prime example of just throwing a bunch of plants together in an arrangement i took some fuchsias i had left and oh are they pretty look at that and i threw some pansies in here that I grew from seed and then we have some pineapple herbs here we have some island petunias in here and I just took whatever I had and threw it together and kind of looked at my color combinations. I knew the fuchsia was either white and pink or pink and purple. So it kind of worked out. And then I just put some little solar lights in to give Matilda some light to go down the steps. But you can kind of get an idea what I did there. So it's just leftovers. Whatever I can find, I throw in there. And now it's starting to fill in. I have not given this any liquid fertilizer yet. It's just had the granular fertilizer in it. The same with this one. I picked up some peachy keen that I really, really liked. And then I've thrown it in here with some Nicotiana and some Verbena. I don't know what color my Verbenas are until they bloom. So it's kind of exciting to kind of see what could come out of this. But the peachy keen, I think, is going to steal the show. And once I start feeding this arrangement, I think it'll really take off and be colorful. So this is something I can show you later on. The same with this one over here. I've thrown some lavender geraniums in here verbena a couple two or three different geraniums and I've thrown a pansy in here just for something whimsical here's another arrangement that I did and just threw a bunch of stuff together I had the leftover purple cabbage that I used in the other arrangement that I did a video on I've thrown verbena in here I've thrown in some of the lime petunias that should be pinched back so we'll just do that while we're here and then I've thrown in here one of my pink pinto geraniums and this is starting to really fill in nice so we'll see how this looks and comes together some of these times when I throw just miscellaneous plants in it helps give me ideas of what color combinations work and what don't I don't stick to just putting pinks and purples together that's too easy I like to mix it up and try all sorts of vibrant different colors in my arrangements to come up with something that's more unique to my taste and something that kind of goes wow and draws your eye in sometimes they clash and sometimes they're just fireworks it's so pretty here's some more petunias I had left over I've thrown them in containers with geraniums here on the side of my step and you can see there's a real variety of colors I did not stick to any color theme here I just went ahead and just threw them in randomly to see how well it would look and you can see here we have a great color combo with pinks and purples whites I particularly like this mix with the yellow wave petunias with the magenta I think they're really pretty and then we have the pink lemonade in there and we have some denim wave petunias here we have another bare spot here so I'm going to come back and throw something in here I can see right now looking at this arrangement the geranium is going to be the star of the show it's doing great it's really filling out but we need to put something in there so when this weather settles I will come and I will fill that spot this one has magenta in it it has the denim wave and yellow wave so all waves in there and this is all waves too but it's got a white in it we'll just pick the weed out same with this one but we're going to have a geranium in here and the geraniums are either pink or lavender
You can see here how the rain came really hard. The plant has got a lot of dirt on the base of the pot, but these pots I just put together in here and I really went random on this, what I threw in here. So I've thrown in some of the yellow daisies. I put in some of my geraniums, some other plants, some pansies are in here, mixed in here. I have some different petunias in here. I put spireas in the back because I'm developing this bed here. And then this one's totally different. It has starry sky in it. It has one of the dahlias I grew from seed that survived the frost. We have the lime petunias in it. We have no name, whatever color verbena that could be. And then we have some denim purple petunias in here, wave. Same with this one. This one I've been adding to gradually because I know it needs more plants in here. So I had a lot of those lime petunias in here, but it needs more color than just them because there's a lot of yellows going on here. So I think the verbenas, um, I have some red petunias in here. You can see here coming up, they're just gonna start blooming. And this one will be colorful. But there is room here, if I want, to take a gap like this and throw some more plants in for color. Over here, I'm just prepping this area here. I've dug it out further, and I'm going to probably bring it out a bit more. And there's room here to put some more plants in. Now, these are the areas where I will throw plants into the bed just to add some color in here. So I've been throwing my geraniums in here with the Martin Frobisher rose that I just planted. And I'm going to add all those different colors in here. So I think it'll look pretty. I have my foxgloves in here. I have a lot of Veronica's in here. You can see the white wands. And one of my favorite yarrows, besides dark orange and terracotta, is this lavender. That is the ultimate yarrow for me. I've had this one for years. I split it and I add it all over the place. But the white wands Veronica is really really pretty. It stands out. I've mentioned before how white in a border really makes it pop. So I need to do more white. And of course we have our cat mitts here. We have our alliums in here. And of course I have this beautiful terracotta yarrow that's getting ready to bloom. And orange yarrow is the absolute perfect yarrow for splitting and bringing color to a bed. It almost like it sun kisses the bed and really does indicate that it's summer. I'm working on some pots here. I'm painting them, going away from the lime green because it's very faded into the brown. I can't finish them right now because it's so darn wet, but clean them up, scuff them up and paint them the color you want and then I can plant them. You can see the difference here with a container that has planned color in it and a variety of colors here, all rain drenched and some beautiful snapdragons that are really going to take off here. This is a really nice plant. I should have put more of these more in the center. That's a next year thing. So I learned something from this arrangement is to, if I'm going to do snapdragons, do three or four, maybe five in the center, odd numbers are best and put it in there. and you can hear the thunder. Same with this one. This is another arrangement. This is a planned arrangement other than the color of the Snapdragon. And you can kind of see how things are going here with this arrangement. There's my poor little coleus that is hidden down there, but it's hanging in there. Not a year for coleus, too cool. You know, sometimes that happens. But this is another one where I've planned the coloring. I know it's gonna work and I know what I want in a container. And we'll just keep going here and I'll show you some of the other ones because they're each a little unique. This one has this beautiful, brilliant pink Snapdragon in it. We have the sunburst here. We have the beautiful wave petunias in here. This coleus is doing a little bit better. I'm gonna pinch off the flowers so the energy goes to the roots and these containers are self-watering. Now I will tell you this has been the best thing I have done. I don't have to run a water line over here plus all the rain we've had. I haven't had, I've watered them once after they were planted up. That's it. The rain has done all the work for me. Now this one I love even though it's looking a little washed out. These yellow petunias, these are picoas, 
kind of like calabacoas, but they're bacoas and they're yellow. Really hard to find. I never did find any more of them. Dang. I'll just say dang because I love them. Definitely would repeat them. When I look out the window of the house, these just pop. They're so brilliant. And with that mixture, they look great. And finally, I want to share with you my window boxes. Once again, this was a planned arrangement. You can see the colors are starting to fill in and all come together and looking really good. I do my best work when I do a little bit of planning. And usually that plan starts with an idea in my head of how I want something to look and then trying to find the plants to make it happen. Sometimes that is really, really tough to do. But in this case, I lucked out and found what I needed. Combinations, I would repeat. I love the magenta wave petunia with this particular variety. The denim and lace looks good and the sunburst. It's just really nice. Once those plants start crawling over, it'll be even more beautiful. So that's it I want to share with you. It's starting to rain again and it's thundering and I don't want to get soaked. Plus, I don't want to wreck my equipment. So I'll see you in the next video. And I just want to share with you this particular iris because it was the first time it bloomed. And although it doesn't look like much right now, it was stunning with the pinks. And you can see the Annabelles are starting to take off. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.